Hello everyone, today I wanted to share with you what I have on our shelf for our 19 month old. And on this shelf, I like having activities um, that help promote fine motor skills, language, literacy, concentration, problem solving, and so much more. And especially to help children develop concentration because concentration is a crucial skill that will be needed for all content areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the activities right here to the table and share with you what we have here today. If there's anything that you would like to get that's on this shelf, I'm going to link below in the description box so that you know where to get it. All right, so let's get started. The first activity that I have on the shelf is this three-piece puzzle. And I like this puzzle because it introduces the three primary shapes and it has these little knobs on it so that the children can work on those fine motor skills um, and that hand-eye coordination. I like starting off with three pieces so that it isolates the difficulty and then as the child gets good at these three three piece puzzles they can move on to more pieces. This next activity is a Montessori puzzle. It's a knob cylinders um, puzzle and it brings five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And the cylinders are different dimensions and the child is going to use their fine motor skills, their pincer grasp here, to grab the cylinders and figure out where does it go. And so this is great for visual discrimination. It's also great for problem solving and for uh, concentration skills. Um, this brings four of these different ones and they're all different um, sizes and dimensions. And um, for this particular child, we're just using one of the puzzles that brings five pieces. You want to start off really easy and then move on to add the rest of the puzzles. This next activity is using this game that I have for my older kids. And I, we got this from Cracker Barrel. I'll link it below in the description box where you can get a similar one. And it brings these little pins, but I'm, we're not gonna play the game, obviously, with this child. This child is just using this game to work on those fine motor skills. So they're going to grab the pins, and they're going to place the pins in each of all these little holes that you see here. And this is going to work on those fine motor skills, uh, hand-eye coordination as they have to focus to put the little pins in the hole and uh, it's a great activity overall because it also helps with concentration um, as well as the child really has to focus and concentrate on putting all of these little pins inside of the holes here. This next tray is going to have our nursery rhyme for the week. So I like picking out one nursery rhyme for the week and every day we do the same nursery rhyme. This helps develop literacy skills and language and helps kids memorize fun songs, uh, rhymes, and poems. Um, this is part of a pack in which I have on my Teachers Pay Teacher store and you guys can um, download it. I'm going to go ahead and post it in the description box below and it's the top 10 um, nursery rhymes finger plays for kids. So this is the five little monkeys jumping in the bed. So you just go over the nursery rhyme. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. And so you go on and on, and this encourages, encourages counting, and it's just a fun little rhyme that all little ones love. This next activity is using an ice cube container and some bells. I like using bells because they make a sound and it really grabs a child's attention. But you can use pom-poms, you can use beans, you can use whatever you have at home. Just make sure that whatever you have, if it's a small object, that you supervise the child. These are never left unattended on the shelf um, because they can be a choking hazard. And this activity is great because it's going to help work again on those fine motor skills as the child uses their pincer grasp to tra transfer the bells into each of these pockets. Now, another skill that this is going to work on is one-to-one -one correspondence, placing one bell inside of each pocket. Um, so you don't want them to put two bells, only one bell per pocket. This is a great activity because it's going to help them in math later on. One-to-one -one correspondence is a precursor to counting and to number quantity. And so this is going to be a great activity to help promote that. And again, it's going to work on those concentration skills. And concentration skills are needed for everything that we do in life. In this next 
next activity is a literacy basket. Here I have some flashcards and they are realistic pictures of different objects and animals and things. And I'm going to link below in the description box where I got these flashcards. And then I have objects that I have found in the kids' toy bin to match these cards. So I'm going to take three cards out at a time. And then I'm going to go over the names of these cards. Tree, frog, fish. I'm going to give the child the object. I'm going to say, can you find the tree? And the child matches. Can you find the fish? And then they match it. Can you find the frog? And then they match it. This is great activity to learn language, to learn those first words, to learn, to learn the different vocabulary words, and then to use matching, which is also a great activity for visual discrimination as they have to find um, uh, which picture matches with the object. Okay, ready, Lou? Can you find the tree? Find the tree. Good job. Let's find the car. Car, good job. And now let's find the fish. Fish. Good job, give me five. This next activity is using a recycled container and some popsicle sticks that you can easily find at your local craft store. Uh, the container, I have made some openings at the top, going vertical, horizontal, slanted. This is to encourage wrist rotation. Um, and the child is going to grab the popsicle sticks using their pincer grasp and put them into these little openings. Um, sometimes they like using their palmer grasp to put into the container. Whichever the child chooses to use, that is okay. You have to just follow where the child is developmentally. And so this is a great activity, activity to develop fine motor skills, to develop hand-eye coordination as they have to use precision to put the popsicle sticks in. And again, it's going to focus on those concentration skills once more. The next activity is a bin in which I have interest-led items. So whatever the child is interested in, I put into this box. I, I rotate these every day and I, I just follow the child's interest because wherever the child, um, whatever the child is interested in, there's a great learning opportunity in these, in these things. So this one makes a lot of noise, little truck that he loves right now. I also have a tin whistle that he's been into uh, lately and I have these little, um, it's like a snake, a little building snake that my kids use for doing puzzles with and other things. Um, so I just follow the child's interest and I see what they're interested in. It could be a comb, it could be a, uh, a few spoons. Whatever I see the child is interested in, I go ahead and I put in this bin. And he's really excited every day to see what's in his open-ended bin. And it's a fun way to keep learning alive. The last activity that we have on our shelf is our toddler learning folder. I have used this with all of my kids. As you can see, it has like... Um, gorilla tape at the top because it's, it's already falling apart. And this is a binder that helps children get ready for preschool. It's like a preschool um, prep binder. It has colors and shapes and body parts and all types of things. Um, garments, animals, and it's really fun because it's a matching um, folder. So the child is going to uh, focus on those visual discrimination skills as they match. So today we're going to be doing the shapes with this child. I like picking out different ones every day that we work on. Um, and matching is a very important skill for all children to learn. This is going to be a precursor to puzzles, a precursor to so many things. Visual discrimination is even important for letter recognition later on. And so I love this binder because it goes over all the basic concepts in a fun way in which they're matching. So I take all the, all the pieces apart and then I have the child match. Can you find the circle? Circle. Can you find the triangle? Triangle. Find the heart. Heart. And the child goes on and on matching and it's a fun way 
um, to keep learning alive as well. So I'm going to go ahead and link this binder below for you guys so that if you want it, you can also get it for your kiddos. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed all of our fun activities that we have on the shelf for our 19 month old. Anything that I mentioned in this video is going to be linked below in the description box. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do and click on that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Until the next time, bye-bye.